One of the problems that plague people who create apps in App Inventor is the overall file size that your app can be. Right now that file size is set at 5 megabytes and you can't go over that. If you want to upload even a single video file or a couple of audio files or a set of images, you can go over that limit pretty easily. So I'm going to show you how to work around that. What I'm going to do is show you how to set an image so that it refers to that image's location on the web. And I'll show you what I mean here. I'm going to pull in an image component. And what I'm not going to do is the standard, what most people do, which is go out and use the, the media section, essentially. Go out and search for your file and upload that directly into this image component so that it shows up here. What I am going to do is refer to this image's file location on the web. So let's figure out how we can do that. Well, since I just have one image component on the screen, I'm just going to go ahead and do my screen one initialize. And I'm going to set it so when the screen one is initialized or when the app is turned on, essentially, I want the image to say, hey, I'm going to set my image to something. And in this case, I'm going to grab a text block and I'm going to type in my URL. The URL I'm going to put in here is the images file location on the web. And I'll just go ahead and paste that in here. So you can see this is the URL path where this app can find this file on the web. So let's take a look at our emulator and see how that worked. So it worked just great. Here's the image that I referred to on the web and you see it shows up here. And that brings up a couple of points I would like to discuss here. Now since I referred to this image on the web, what that means to your apps and users that they will have to have internet access or they won't get any of these images or other multimedia files that you referred to this way. My suggestion to you as you're building apps is that if you have, let's say, a header image like this one or a background image that you want to use to fill the screen, you may want to just go ahead and upload those into the media section. If you have something like a, a list of images, let's say of birds, and you want the user to be able to click on each image and hear what that bird sounds like, well, you're going to run into trouble if you have something like 10 birds with the sound effects, you're going to be about at your 5 megabyte limit. So instead of hitting your limit, you just set all of the images of the birds and the sound effects to refer to their location on the web. And then as long as the end user of your app has internet access, which most people do with their Android phones, your app will work perfectly.